know that there's discord between the two of you or that the two of you are like on the verge of splitsville, you know, and not wanting to disappoint your children and have to give them some level of an answer as far as that the family is breaking up because of some ish you did, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so I, I love to kind of hear the perspectives of men and um, just in life in general, I always like hearing the perspective of men because I feel that they have a lot to say as well that we as women need to hear. It's not just about our needs and what we feel and what we want and what we need, you know? They have needs, feelings, wants, concerns as well, you know? And I think when we're able to understand the background of our guy and what his examples in life were, it may help us to understand more emotionally where they're at and what they may need from us. Now, don't get it twisted. I am not condoning cheating and mistreating your woman in any way because I feel like regardless, there's, there's always some positive example that you have seen um, that could show you otherwise, even if your parents weren't the best of examples for you. You know, um, however, I do think the human side, we all kind of, you, you, we, we acquire learned behavior from our environments. Another thing that I love that they said is the fact that in the hood, especially with guys, black men, men of color growing up in the hood, it's almost like um, the OGs who are always kicking that knowledge and wisdom, they'll have like amazing information about how to be business minded, or how to, you know, have street smarts, how to maneuver out here, how to get your respect out here for those that were part of the drug game, how to do that. But when it comes to advice about the emotional aspect of a man and how that's needed in relationships with women and how to make that work, the wisdom is not there. And I'm glad that, you know, Jay-Z and Tata and I think some of the other guys made that point, like, you know, when you're hearing from the OG, they give you immaculate advice and knowledge and wisdom about the street game, the street life. But when it comes to relationships and women, they, they, like, they're clueless almost, right? A lot of what they may kick to you is stuff that's only going to hurt you in the long run because even they are emotionally disconnected. For some reason, I think men struggle with vulnerability. Let me not say all men. Some men struggle with having vulnerability and... um you know me, I've always said from day one with this website, to me, there's strength and vulnerability. Being able to make yourself vulnerable, that's a place of strength, healing, and recovery. At least I've, in my life, that's what it's been for me. And I feel like, um, even with this album, this album was probably very therapeutic for Jay-Z, right? Getting a lot of stuff off his chest, you know, being transparent. Um, that actually shows a sign of strength when you're able to own your wrongdoings, your mistakes, your weak areas, the areas you need to get better at. You know, that to me is what helps you to rebuild your relationship, your, yourself, whatever. And so for a lot of men, it's hard for them to be emotionally vulnerable. Furthermore, with women, furthermore, with themselves, right? And so... For me, I, I love to play the role of helping, whether it was my male family members, pe males that I consider to be brothers, my husband, whoever, help them to tap into that vulnerability because if any relationship or marriage is gonna work, both parties have to be willing to take it to that, that vulnerable zone. It's uncomfortable, y'all. When I'm being told, you know, when my husband's expressing things to me that I'm like, ouch, like, that's how I make you feel. That's how you tell me how you really feel. Like, damn, you know, but it, it's necessary as long as it's coming out in a way that's respectful and sensitive, but real and raw at times. We all need to kind of have that vulnerability with one another, even being able to express this is how you make me feel. Or this, when you do this, this makes me feel like this. You know what I'm saying? Um, very important, you know, and, and so I really appreciated what. They did with the footnotes of the 444 album. Um, let me know what you feel about it, if you're able to watch it. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this clip. Um, I'm hoping that you can, and um, let's talk about it. This is this is great conversation, folks. Continue to head to complexsimplicity.com, and until next time.